Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Dragons of Legend, the complete series, booster box opening. Got a full box to open for you all today. Now a full box is comprised of eight individual mini boxes. You can see I have them all stacked up here of the latest Dragons of Legend uh, set to open as I'm stacking them up like that. Uh, very excited to open these up. You get some pretty awesome reprints in this set from all three of the Dragons of Legends set, including all of the Legendary Knight support, the Toon support, and a whole lot of numbers support. I had them all in the uh, big box. They came in, just couldn't find a good thumbnail to show off all the cool stuff you get in the big box. So I decided to open them all up for the uh, video thumbnail and just to have it easier to open up. But let's go ahead and see what all we get from these. I believe we get some awesome promo cards you you can see on the side here time wizard of tomorrow the harpy synchro the chinzo exceeds and a bunch of other great support hopefully we can pull uh one of each with the eight boxes i have here and instead of the um uh, field centered card i believe is what it was in the legendary duelist box you get a well first off you get the booster packs here you get the little promo pack here as well, our first card is Awakening of the Possessed, Rasen Ryu. Really, really awesome. Secret rare, just like from the Legendary Duelist. And, yep, the bottom one has it. An awesome-looking dice with our first one being... Hopefully you can see it if we zoom in a little there. Yep, there we go. The Eye of Tamias. Very nice. I love the color. The fact that it is a clear uh, see-through dice makes it all the better when I'm sure we'll get all three of the different ones here. And two different booster packs, so the art is differing uh, for each one as well. But let's go ahead and jump right into our first packs. We'll have 16 packs total with all eight of the different boxes. Plenty of commons and foils as well. Just like with the Legendary Duelist, they'll be having the different color rarity for the ultra rare foils we can pull. But we'll quickly go through all of them as well as soon as the camera, I think I'll zoom in a bit here just so we can get a good zoom or, you know, not zoom, clear on the cards we pull. We have a Ritual Sanctuary. Like I said, lots of very nice reprints for sure. All of the Planet series too, it looks like. Uh, Prediction Princesses. Our first Ultra is Galaxy Stealth Dragon. And we have Amulet Dragon with the blue foiling. Very, very nice. Now, I'm not sure what the trend they'll be setting uh, for this uh, pack. If, you know, some of them are only just the yellow Ultra. If some of them are uh, the, you know, colored foiling. But we have a Ra's Disciple and what looks like blue foiling as well. And we have a, okay, so you get two of the foil and one of the uh, yellow ultra, just like the legendary duelist, but in that one they had the, uh, you know, sneak preview cards from Rise of the Duelist. They didn't have any other cards from that set, but still very, very interesting for sure how they're doing it. So the rest of the cards, Orikalko Shunros, and all the different legendary dragon support as well in common or foil form. But I love the different art styles on the packs as well. It's a very nice touch for sure with all the different legendary dragons. All right, so we got more prediction princess support, train support. They had a little bit of train support in these different booster packs also. Blackwing, Steam the Cloak, Prediction Princess, Arrow Sylph, C5, Chaos Chimera, Roulette Spider, and looks like maybe different spots for the foils also. We have a number 100, Numeron Dragon. That's definitely a good reprint for sure. I believe in the third Dragons of Legend, it was an ultra rare. I might be wrong. It might have just been the first set that was in as secret rare. We have, oh, uh, look at that. That is what I wanted to pull also. The new alternate art of Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Now, you can get blue, purple, or green foiling. But I gotta say, the green foiling mixed with the fact that, you know, Tamias is sort of a green dragon works very, very nice for this foil. Normally with the fusion monsters, I'm a fan of the blue and purple foiling, but green works very nice too. I bet all three foil colors would look nice for these ones. And our final foil is Legendary Knight Hermos. Now this interesting as well since we got the green background for Hermos, but not bad at all. We have the prediction, no, I was about to say prediction princesses again. The Aqua Actress support is also reprinted in the set. You see plenty of the Planet series, a couple numbers as well. There's Aqua Actress, Tetra. I don't want to, uh, I want to keep the foils as best as I can organize. Adjust the camera a little better, centered there. Very nice foil, secret rare as well. I'm going to have foiling and just packaging all over the place. But let's go ahead and open up our next set as well. And like I said, hopefully we can get an equal number of all the dice and hopefully at least one of each promo as well. I don't want to 
extend the foils. You can see they kind of have them packaged in there so they don't move around in this huge box they've provided for us. But our next dice is, this looks like Critias. Yep, so I'm guessing uh, Hermos might be blue, but that looks like Critias there uh, for that one. And what's our promo? We've got, all right, nice. Awakening of the Possess, Gagio Bite. So these are the cards that work with the familiars, basically, like their companions. So we got two of them from this one being the Water and the Wind ones. And our two booster packs this time around have Dark Magician Girl, the Dragonite, and also uh, Hermos on it. So let's see how we do with these set of packs. Salt Dog, Final Fusion. I said, pretty interesting common reprints. Our first ultra is Doom Virus Dragon. For oh, <laughs> I guess there is no set. You can get just one of the yellow ultras. And then uh, Doom Virus Dragon in blue foiling. Still very interesting for sure. And we have Shadow Tune for our next foil car. Blue foiling on that one. It looked like blue, I'm guessing, on Doom Virus Dragon for this one. And we have Tyrant Burst Dragon, Rocket Hermos Cannon as well shooting star aquarium and also like i said anything that was in the dragons of legend could be potentially in this set i can't remember if they missed any reprints or not but i know there's a good amount of cards just completely reprinted in this set definitely a good amount of tune support also that a lot of people wanted to see uh reprinted let's see how we do we have dark magician girl the dragonite the original artwork for this one so still a really nice reprint for sure and Curry Bandit with a purple foiling. Um, I would, I'd say green it would look pretty good, but honestly, they all have that nice touch for these cards. And we have the Eye of Tamias in a purple foiling as well. But very interesting that they're going the uh, you know original foiling for some of the cards also. It almost looks like the text on the Dark Magician Girl on for this one is a little lower than some of the other ones. And we also got the Cardians reprinted also as they stack a bunch of different Cardians in this one pack alone for me as well. It's still pretty cool. Just going to love going through all the commons because that's definitely going to be a big nostalgia trip because it's definitely been a while since the first Dragons of Legend was released to begin with. So we're on to our third box. Can we pull the Hermos from this one alone and get all three of the dice just like that? Let's see how we do with that. So, All right, so we've got... Tamias. All right, so there was a Tamias pack, but nope, we got Time Wizard of Tomorrow. I was hoping to at least pull one of these because uh, it's an awesome looking artwork at that. And I did want to focus on maybe making a Time Wizard deck as well later on down the road. And you definitely need this fusion for uh, that deck. And for those that missed it, it fell out with it. Did I make a mistake? Is this one Hermos? Can I not clearly tell? Yeah, I think I already pulled Hermos and this is Critias. They really do look sort of similar from the side, but yep, that is Critias, and this is Hermos. Makes much more sense that Hermos has the red dice and Critias has the black dice. Is this a clear dice, or can I... Is this just a normal black dice? Can I not see through it like the other two? I'd have to look better with the lighting afterwards, but let's go ahead and see how we do with these packs. All right, so there's a carbon net on. It's not bad. Reprint as well. Prediction Princess. It looks like the lighting is doing some crazy uh, light work there as well. Let's see just how we do. We have Construction Train Signal Red, Flower Cardians again. We have another number 100 Numeron Dragon. Pretty good pull there for sure. And we've got a Tamias, the Knight of Destiny. The purple foiling definitely blends very well. With, I'm just going to be a judge on all the different foilings you can pull from this set, but still very awesome. And we have the Claw of Hermos. Uh, like I said, good legendary dragon reprint cards all throughout this set also. Raid Raptor, Blade Burner Falcon, some other Blackwing support as well. Very cool. But it looks like you might even just be able to rebuild a Cardian deck from a good amount. You might just be able to rebuild all the different decks. If you never were into the Dragons of Legends set and some of the cards were just more expensive at the time, this is definitely an easier way to pick up some of those cards, including the hand cards as well that were all originally in this set. But we've got Lily Bot as well. Time Magic Hammer, Aqua Actress, Arowana. We have another Galaxy Stealth Dragon. So maybe just some of the altars are set for this spot. I'm not 100% sure. We have Legendary Knight Tamias with the blue. That works pretty well. And Legendary Knight Hermos following right behind. I'm surprised they made these ultras. I would have thought they would be common. But I guess, you know, since they were originally secret rare in the older pack, 
just a, you know, step down from their original foiling. All right, so we've already got three out of the way, so maybe I'll pick up the pace just a little more with some of these other ones. But I want to enjoy the opening also, since it is a brand new set. And I love the artwork that they've done on all of the different sides of the box as well. It looks very, very cool. But it's the most difficult part is getting this part here, the compartment that seals it. We have another Tamias dice as well. Our promo this time around is 100 Dragon, so at least we're getting some different promos also. I'd like to pull one of each, and so far we're following that trend with the card to be maybe 1,000 Dragon, like, uh, you know, child form. Definitely a good card for sure, though, for the deck. And our two packs are Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite and Critias as well. Let's see how we do with this one. Oops. More Cardian support. Utopia. We have a Fang of Critias, Ultra Rare. Uh, Curry Bandit with the green. I do like the green compared to just because Curry Bandit's got green claws. And another Eye of Tamaya. So yeah, it looks like the Ultra. I don't know how many Ultras in total there are in this set. There's 30, I believe it said on the box. But a good amount you can pull. But still, a lot of good commons that are usable as well. Just for decks you may be looking to build all together. And on to the Critias pack. So there are four different art styles, I believe. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragonite, and then all three of the Legendary Dragons on the card arts. Uh, Steam the Cloak as well. Pretty interesting reprint for sure. We have a Shadow Tune for our first Ultra there. Amulet Dragon with a purple text. And we've got Mathematician as well with the purple text. So yeah, one thing I noticed I didn't pull any of yet though are the like more expensive tune cards and that's gonna be crazy if they're that much more difficult to get from these sets. I know it's gonna disappoint a lot of people that were hoping maybe to rebuild tunes. Cards like Tune Kingdom, uh, something you know that would definitely be uh, harder to pull or pick up. Definitely a disappointment if people buy a whole case. I'm not really looking to build tunes, that's why I'm not as anxious right now. But if you only pull one Tune Kingdom, you know, per box, that's definitely a disappointment there. They really have to work on how they, you know, package these. Because look at this one foil. It was just jammed into the box and it was kind of bent there. But you can tell that this Time Wizard, it doesn't look creased, but it definitely looks like, you know, if it stayed in that box or was moved around anymore, definitely could have took some more damage. It looks like it can at least be straightened out with a binder when placed in at least. And that's our first double of the promos as well. But here's another Hermos dice. Let's see how maybe our luck will change since I gave a little love to the promo. And as I say that, there is a strip of card in this pack. Okay, so they really just did not care at all about these cards. There is literally just a strip of a card, it looks like, that came out of that booster. Is there a missing piece from a card? We'll find out with this pack if we notice a section of a card missing. We have a Mathematician, Ultra Rare. Shadow, uh, plenty of shadow tunes though, compared to a lot of the other ones. And a number 45, Crumble Logos, the Prophet of Demolition. So that's an interesting green text for sure. It's just one of the first number cards with colored text I'm seeing also. Some other Prediction Princess, Cardians as well, the Red Eyes Ritual Support. But I didn't see any like card missing any of the, there's just a sliver of card. I'm gonna put that over there. Maybe I'll find it's missing piece in one of these other packs. That is definitely strange, though. All right, final pack from this one. Don't miss any of the cards, either. We have a Tamias Ultra Rare. Uh, Tamias with the blue Ultra Rare. And we have an Amulet Dragon with the blue text as well. Definitely a lot of doubles, though, but yeah. Toon Kingdom is seeming like it's one of the more difficult cards to pull. Let's see, we got three boxes remaining, so let's just move right along and see if we can kick in any of that luck for those Toon King. I don't even know what it's going for value-wise. Maybe, I think the price of the other ones might have shot down a bit with people thinking that it was going to be, you know, easier to pull. We have a Critias dice, so we've pulled two of each dice at least. Maybe you get, um, like, a good amount of each one, two, and two, or there might be just ones where we get some additional ones. We have XYZ Import. That looks awesome art, too. Taras and Adrius, uh, some of my favorite Xyz monsters on that card art as well. But for the actual booster packs, let's see 
Now we can do still lots of wrappers all over. You have to clean those up after this opening, uh, of course. But let's see, we've got a Legendary Knight Critias for our Ultra. We have a number 100 Numeron Dragon with the purple Ultra Rare. Maybe some people just wanted the normal Ultra Rare colors. They didn't really like these colors for the reprints. So they just decided to put them in for both options. Some people like the colored art, some people don't. And then we up oh, there we go. So we finally pulled a Toon Kingdom. But still seems like it was definitely difficult to pull since we still only have two more boxes to go for. And it is the purple foiling. So if you're hoping to get a matching playset of Toon Kingdoms, it's just that much more difficult. But I want to see those lucky packs where someone reveals a Toon Kingdom with the yellow ultra and then just one of the color ones right behind. I'm sure there's going to be some of those boxes uh, with these sets coming out also. But there's definitely a lot of commons also. So even hoping to complete some of the play sets with just the commons alone with this huge of a set might prove a little difficult. All right, last pack from this one. There's Ice Hand. We have a Mimikat. It's a pretty good ultra rare as well. Another number 45, Crumble Logos. And we've got a Toon Briefcase. So this one had all the Toon support hiding in it for sure. Uh, coming out of the woodwork, it seems. Uh, Battle Fusion. I remember that from... GX as well. All right, we're down to two boxes left for these. Let's see where our luck can go. Uh, from here, we pulled a Toon Kingdom. So, for those of you that have been watching this whole time, you can see how my luck is sort of starting to kick in. But still, a lot of this legendary dragon support is just cool to pull overall. We have another 100 dragons. So let's see what promos we're missing so far. We still need the Shinzo Layered and the Harpy uh, Synchro. So maybe we can pull one of those if we're lucky with the final one. I'd like to see at least one or the other from those packs. But we have a Toon Ancient Gear Golem starting us off. Carbon Netted as well. We have a Rank Up Magic Quick Force. That's an interesting ultra rare choice as well. Another Crumble Logos. This card just loves appearing, you know, definitely looking like it's starting to be my avatar of this set. And a Seal of Ori Calcos. I actually forgot that this was going to be in this set also. It kind of looks like a blurry foil text for that one also. But a lot of the Planet series, Ayers Rock Sunrise, Guard Treasure. It's pretty cool reprint. Just a lot of common reprints because these were originally foils in the sets they came out of. Not like the Legendary Duelist where they were um, common to begin with, but we pulled one Toon Kingdom and one of the alternate art Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight so far. So at least we haven't, it looks like Comic Hand we haven't pulled yet. Let's see how we do with this one. All right, so our first Ultra is Legendary Knight Tamias. With up, uh, there's Hermos. Can we pull Critias as well? Nope. We have a Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. So the green foiling looks pretty good, being a spell card for that one. Aquarium Stage as well. Looks like I'm going to have plenty of cards for remaking. I, I've already said that already. Another Aqua Actress deck. But the foil pile definitely growing pretty large as well. With our final box. All right, let's go. The Harpy Synchro or the Chinzo Xyz. I want to see one of those two hopefully pulled from this one. So let's see how my luck will fare with the final box. Probably not going to pull a full Toon Kingdom playset. But like I said, that's probably going to disappoint some people with their luck they were hoping to go for. And it looks like our final promo is the Awakening of the Possessed Gagio Bai. I think this is actually still a pretty good promo to you know, pull compared to some of the other cards. But definitely mixed ratios. But I remember that from the Dragons of Legend as well. And our third dice being uh, a Tamias one. So we pulled three Tamias, three Hermos, and two Critias dice in total with our final two packs being Critias. And we'll save the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight one for last. Let's see how our luck ends on this box opening. And we're getting to the foils. We have a Doom Virus Dragon and a Claw of Hermos. And we have a Curry Bandit. So yeah, I think 30 foils in total, which if you think with the three different ones per box, we should have pulled a good amount of all the different ones. The remaining cards from this one as well. I moved the common bin, uh, common pile, because it was about to fall over with all the different ones I have with this opening. But final pack. Let's test our luck and see how we do. There's another fire hand as well. C5. 
And our first foil is another Dark Magician Girl, the Dragonite. Not the alternate art, but we did pull one of those, so I'm happy about that. And I think I've pulled six Doom Virus Dragons in total, with our final card being probably my fourth Shadow Tune. So yeah, these ratios are definitely all over the place. It's probably going to be uh, lucky for some people, but others, you know, if you're looking for a Tune Kingdom playset, definitely going to be a lot more difficult than what probably some people were hoping for. Like I said, we we pulled one, but yeah, um, definitely going to be more difficult for that. But pulling that and the one alternate art, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, was definitely pretty cool. And I'm glad I picked up the set. Just a lot of nostalgia from a lot of these cards going through all of them as well. To work on deck profiles is going to be great also. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.